Good morning, everybody. I sure miss you. I'm coming to you from my dining room table where I have set up a check and explanation for yesterday's lesson on the law of conservation of mass matter. And we're using the Legos um, that we used to investigate photosynthesis last fall. Um, you might hear my dog Muffin from time to time. She's being very annoying this morning. I'm not quite sure what she wants. She's been out. She's been fed. She just wants a bark. I think she wants you to know that she's here. So ignore her. I will try to. Anyway, so here we start off with our elements that are in these two formulas. Um, as you can see, we have six atoms of carbon and 18 atoms of oxygen and 12 atoms of hydrogen. All right, so when we put these together and form our reactants for photosynthesis, we have six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water. And of course, a plant needs sunlight energy and that's what it does in photosynthesis. It captures that light energy from the sun and it chemically changes it into a form that us organisms can use, it, the consumers can use. Well, actually even itself, even the plant can use it, but it has to use it in a chemical form. So when I break these apart and they, uh, put them back down to their base elements, which is what happens in the chloroplast. Then my product ends up being one molecule of glucose and six molecules of oxygen. And we've gone over this, you know, quite a few times this year so far, but I wanted you to see it in a different way now that we've talked about the law of conservation of mass and matter. Now, technically, I have two kits of Legos here. So, when I go back to, sorry, I'm trying to do this and hold the camera steady at the same time. When I go back to the reactants, technically, I shouldn't have any reactants left if I'm manipulating the Legos and creating my products. Okay, you guys get that? All right, I'm going to put this on pause because now I'm going to create the cellular respiration part. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, instead of pausing it to show you cellular respiration, I'm just going to do this. First, I'm going to turn over the chloroplast because now it, cellular respiration is going to take place in the mitochondria. And the reactants of photosynthesis are now the, excuse me, the products of photosynthesis are now the reactants of cellular respiration. Okay. And what's going to happen is that mitochondria, the powerhouse that it is, breaks down through a chemical reaction, breaks down this glucose along with the oxygen and re it creates the reactants as a byproduct. And what is the whole goal of um, cellular respiration? It's to release that energy again. Because not only are the earth elements not created or destroyed energy is not created or destroyed either so that same law of conservation of mass and matter applies to energy as well this is amazing how this all works and recycles itself so once we've broken down once the mitochondria is broken down the glucose sorry I'm trying to arrange these while 
I'm holding the camera somewhat steady. So once these are broken down, then these are the products. And if you go back to the beginning of this video and you count all the base elements throughout each of the processes, you're going to see that I didn't add any Legos. I didn't take away any Legos. Nothing was added or destroyed. It was all recycled in the system. And that basically explains the law of conservation of mass and matter. All right, kiddos, I'll have your assignment posted. And I hope you have a fabulous day. I know this is tough, but we're going to make it through it. And you know, you know what's going to cure all this, right? All the coronavirus? Science. So keep studying. Love y'all. Bye.